Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got a video I'm working on uh, bar AC and how to make contacts with it. Uh, I have mine going and I usually have uh, I'm Away checked off. And uh, then I just send a beacon every hour uh, to check propagation. And uh, that works pretty well. And I come in here and check the uh, PSK uh, reporter map and uh, see how uh, how well I'm getting out. And it looks pretty good right now. So uh, uh, responding to a CQ is real easy. Uh, it's up here in the top right-hand corner. You just double-click on it, and it will take you to the correct slot, uh, this frequency slot. And uh, then you can go ahead and send your canned messages or type in a, a custom messages, and uh, it works really well. I've had trouble the past few days trying to send a file and uh, the software crashes. So I have to see if I can figure that one out. And I'm l l looking at the filtering too, uh, filtering on my radio. Uh, I'm using the ICOM 7610 and um, USB-D2. Uh, and my filter right now is 3K, which you can see uh, I can pick up quite a bit on there. If I change to a narrower filter, filter 2, you can see it get narrower there. And I really only need 500 hertz. Uh, right there that works fine now i've got videos out with my icom 7300 and i use a preset in my 7300 uh, which works really well and uh, the 7610 doesn't have those presets so i'm missing that but anyway uh, three kilohertz wide is just fine um and uh, like i said uh, making a contact uh, if you see somebody calling cq is real easy just uh, double click on the on this call sign up here and it will start the transmission right away i don't see anybody calling cq this was 23 minutes ago uh so i'm going to try to go ahead and call uh i'm going to call cq and uh i just noticed i got a, a one new mail message here i'll click on it and bring it up uh, hello from east texas okay n5 in dc thanks for the reply rich sorry i called you pierre <laughs> that's okay yeah, I'm in, in Pierre, so I can delete that one, and I can delete that one, and all these have been read too. I guess I can delete all of them, and I'm gonna go ahead and close. And I've had people mention my videos on here, and that's terrific. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope that this helps you get involved in ham radio, or uh, maybe a little bit more active in ham radio. Let's uh, keep these bands busy so they don't get taken away from us. Uh, let's see here. I got disconnected from N5NDC. I wonder if I actually made a contact with him. Yeah, there it is. Uh, N5NDC. And what, what happens is uh, I'll have I'm Away checked off. And I'm sending a beacon. So they'll see the, my beacon out there. And then they'll just connect to me. And what they'll do is uh, right up here. I can try it with this station, WD4U. It wasn't too long ago. I'm going to right click and then click on connect and uh, see what happens. And I think we connected. Okay, as soon as I do that, I want to make sure I'm connected. Connected to Whiskey Delta 4 Uniform. Okay, got the connected. I'm going to send a QSY by clicking this up arrow. Oops. I sent it to uh, I sent it twice by I clicked on it twice. So just click on it once, and it sends a QSY, and then you get this a request. That's my request. So I'm going to QSY, and you'll see I jumped up to the right slot. And I had been looking on there to see if the slot was empty. I didn't see any anybody on this slot. And I could see down here, I'm looking at the monitor, VARA HF monitor. And I'm going to go ahead and send him my info and see what happens. I wonder if he moved over. I haven't... Uh, he'll have to select uh, uh, the QSY. It's okay to QSY. And then I should get a message.
okay, yeah, uh, oh, QSO, it seems like no one accepted. Oh, okay, so he didn't accept it. So I'm going to QSY uh, back to uh, the calling frequency. There it is. And am I still connected to him? Uh, don't. Let me see. Uh, yeah, am I? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from him. I'll send the disconnect. So that didn't work out as, as like I wanted it to, but that's okay. All right, so yeah, that's what's been happening. Uh, I'll have, I'm away checked off right over here. I'll have it checked off and I'll walk out of the, the, the shack for a little bit, go uh, make a sandwich and I come back and I'll have a uh, uh, somebody in my log. Oh, there we go. Your partner seems to be away. I can no, I'm not gonna leave a message. Okay, yeah, it said it was away. All right. Disconnected from Whiskey Delta Four Uniform. Then I get this. QSO duration: two minutes and twenty six seconds. Yeah, that's too long to be sitting on the calling frequency. Um, but uh, what I was gonna do is try to connect to him, move off the calling frequency, and then get a signal report from him, and then that way I can log it. So that's that's what's been happening. I sit here. I'm going to clear this. I sit here and I come back and I'll see that I, I log somebody. And what they do is they they connect to me, and then they send me my their info and uh, request info, and then they get it back. And this is all done automatically. And then uh, and then they disconnect, and I have auto log uh, QSO selected over here, so it it just logs it automatically. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's something to be aware of. Uh, people can connect to you while you're away, and uh, actually they could tie up uh, the calling frequency just like I did for a couple of minutes. Uh, so yeah, that's not a good thing. I apologize. I shouldn't uh, shouldn't have done that. Uh, it's it's not too terribly bad. I don't think I'll uh, be sent to uh, Guantanamo for that. But anyway, it's it's not a good thing to do. Um, and let's see, and there's been quite a few people, Beacons over here. Uh, let's see, uh, WY6Y, uh, he's a Beacon, he was a few minutes ago, so let's, let's try that. I'm gonna click on Connect. Connected okay. to Whiskey Yankee 6 Yankee. Okay, I'm gonna send the QSY to him. Oh, it says 105. I'm going to go to 11, send QSY. Uh... Oh, we accepted it. Okay. We got it. We're on 105.750. And it says he's away, but I can go ahead and leave a message. Uh, hi. Catch you later. I send and I'm not going to disconnect because uh, what I want to do is uh, send my my info. Whiskey Yankee Six Yankee accepted your QSY invitation. And if this is getting confusing to you, uh, don't let it bother you. You just keep uh, watching. I'm up at 90 BPS. That's pretty good. I sent him a, a mail, a V-mail. V-mail delivered successfully. It was delivered successfully. Now I'm going to request his info by clicking on the info. Let's see, uh, see what happens. Now I already had the signal report, so I've got his call sign. Uh, we exchange signal reports. Uh, that's Steve, and then I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and send my info. Uh, 
I'm going to send my info and then I'm going to disconnect. Sending control data and now it's sending uh, name and QTH and then it should send the 73 and all the best. Uh, we'll disconnect and see I'm, I'm off the uh, the calling frequency so that's okay. Between 60 and 90 BPS this is the free version. And you can see how many bytes I'm sending 106 bytes. You can also see down here uh, well it's done now. I'll try Disconnected it. from Whiskey Yankee 6 Yankee. QSO duration, 2 minutes and 56 seconds. Okay, I'm going to QSY back to the calling frequency. So that's how you can do it. Uh, make a contact, even when the guy's away, if it's he just sent out a beacon. If they have a auto, uh, auto accept, let me go in the rig control and VAR configurations. And auto QSY, if that's selected, if they have that, and then allow info request, if they have that checked off, I think you should be good. And then auto accept the verbose uh, signal to noise, SNR, and uh, have that selected. Uh, suppressed is typing in low SNR, and I guess that's a good thing to have. Click save and exit. So that's how you can make a contact even when there aren't any guys out there. If you just see beacons uh, out there, uh, you can make a contact. Uh, when you send a ping, if I were to ping one of these guys, uh, let's try him. If I were to p ping him and get a report, all I do is I get his report, but I don't send one. So oh, there we go. What's that? Okay, oh, there's another one. Uh, work before. There's Joe. I've worked Joe up there in Washington. And uh, let's go ahead and send him a email now. If you see him up here, the beacon, and you want to send a mail to him, that's a good time because you can connect to him. Uh, let's see. I uh, haven't worked him before. I'm going to send him a email. Uh, uh, hello. Hi. Hope to catch you on. And go ahead and send it. And what it'll do is connect real quick and then disconnect. Well, got to connect first. Okay, I think we connected. Connected to November 5, November Delta Charlie. Oh, okay. Well, I just want to send the, the mail. I'm going to send a QSY. We're going to go up. So I've got a signal report from him. I can go ahead and log him. He's down there in Henderson, Texas. See if I can QSY. Well, look, I already got it. Okay, uh, QSY, Q, uh, let's go ahead and QSY over. See if he accepts it. And then now I can send that mail. It's going to be going. You can see it down here. I was wondering where that was. And then once that is sent, I can go ahead and send 73. And the spelling in there. And we're still doing pretty good. 60 BPS. 
and I'm using the free version. Uh, so this is up on my other screen and I just leave it up. So it November get... five, November Delta Charlie accepted your QSY invitation. Well, we were already over. So <laughs> that's a, that's a work in progress. So let's see how I can improve on that. Cause we were already over on one Oh five, seven fifty. Disconnected from November 5, November Delta Charlie. Okay, QSY. QSO back. duration, 2 minutes and 19 seconds. And there we go. Got another contact just by uh, logging these beacons up here. Um, I haven't seen anything about that, whether that is uh, uh, appropriate or not. Um, I just noticed that people are doing it. So if it shows up later that it's not appropriate to be doing that to these beacons, then uh, I apologize. I'll... I have to make a correction and uh, send out an apology retraction on it. Because uh, we don't know what we don't know. Okay. Alrighty, well that does it. And in the next video, I'll set up, uh, set up the radio and everything on 20 meters. And we'll uh, send out a CQ. I'll show you how I... Uh, call CQ, but that does it for uh, the beacons and connecting to a beacon. Uh, and again, uh, if that is inappropriate for me to be doing that, I apologize. Uh, we'll see. CQ from Kilo Uniform 9 Zulu. Oh, there's one right there. KU9Z. Double click on it. That's over on 105.750. That's slot 11. See what happens uh, with him. I know a KU9S. If, uh, he's in Illinois. Connected to Kilo Uniform 9 Zulu. Okay, so I connected to him. So here's another way to make a contact. You can do it by the beacons. Or you can do it when somebody calls CQ. And I'm going to go ahead and send my info. And then the third way is to call CQ, and I'll do that in another video. And we're at 60 BPS. That's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and click on this QRZ right up here. And uh, let's see, uh, Adam, okay, in Illinois. Drop back down to about 18. Yeah. I'm putting out 50 watts. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and send my rig information. And you can see it's turning green as it's sending the text. You'll see a uh, 6 of 29 down here and it turns green. That's kind of a neat feature. You can see how, how the progression goes. Go ahead and send that. And you can see up there he's typing. Uh, yeah, that's 60 to 90 BPS. That's good. Wonder if I fixed it crashing, uh, sending a file. I wonder. I'm not going to try it right now.
Okay, he's got a 7610. He's on a vertical. And I think, uh, let's see. He said, I think I've heard of Jerry. And I've got to send my little hi hi. The gestures are right here. If you click on it, it'll bring up the gestures. And you can try a few of them out. That's my favorite. You can see it's turning green here. And uh, back down to 18. And I'm just going to guess that's QSB uh, going from uh, uh, 60 or 90 BPS down to 18. And uh, let's see, what else can I do um, while I'm doing this? What else can I do? Uh, uh, I'm not going to send a file because it's been crashing. Back up to 60 now. And drop down to 40. You can edit these before they go out. DAT. There you go. Oh, <laughs> he sent the 73. 
That's some disconnected from Kilo Uniform 9 Zulu. And it goes ahead QSO and QSO duration, 9 minutes and 24 seconds. I have to look on, what's the, uh, what's the correct sequence? Who sends the 73? Because I'll say something like, well, I better get going. Mr. B needs to go for a walk, or uh, better get going, dinner's on. And then they send the 73. Uh, so yeah, I have to see what the... CQ from Whiskey Delta 6 Romeo. Oh, there's another CQ. Let's try him. Just real quick. Just double click on it. I'm going to clear that out. And I jumped over to slot one. WD6R. I wonder where he is. So typically my QSOs last about 10 minutes and uh, and that's pretty good and uh, the, the speed, uh, the bandwidth, uh, the BPS is anywhere from 18 to 90 uh, on this free version and yesterday actually I was hitting uh, uh, closer up to the max around 200 uh, or with one station so it's been okay but whenever I uh, uh, send a file, it's been crashing on me lately. The last few times, uh, it's crashed on me. And it doesn't look like he picked me up. What's that? Let's see. Yeah, it's not picking up. So I can just go ahead and hit abort. And then go back to the calling frequency. Okay, so that does it. Uh, you can make a contact with a beacon. Uh, you can ping it. Or you can connect. Move off frequency. Send your info. And, uh, and then disconnect. And uh, go back to the calling frequency. Or you can wait for somebody to call a CQ. Just double click on it and make a contact that way. CQ from Whiskey Delta 4 Kilo Alpha Victor. Let's try. Let's try this one. I've worked him before. I'm. Uh, I'll, I'll pass on that. Oh. CQ from Whiskey Delta 4 yeah. Kilo Alpha Victor. Oh, that's an, he, I've got him in my alerts. Here's my alerts right here. And, uh, yeah, I've worked him before. Mark mark all is red and then close it. I got some uh, relays out box stuff, but uh, anyway, uh, I'll, next video I'll, I'll do one calling CQ. It's real easy and uh, lots of fun. Uh, it lasts about 10 minutes each QSO, and then you can just move on to the next guy or uh, spend some more time uh, with one person and really have a long chat. I had one for a good 20 or 30 minutes the other day, and uh, conditions just held up real well. So, uh, uh, using 50 watts seems to work real good. So, if you have any questions, please comment below. Check out my website, www.k0pir.us. And if you haven't already, click on that subscribe uh, down below and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified when I put out a new video. And on my website, if you sign up for my newsletter, you'll be notified when I put out a new article on my website. And each article on my website has a video that goes along with it. So thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. And also tell your friends. 73 and good DX.